So we'll start by yeah. talking about the history of the wallet. Yeah, so as you can see here on the first slide, we can see how wallets evolved throughout history. We started with bartering in the past when there was no currency at all, and the, actually the currency was objects. And then we moved on to coins, then paper, last centuries we got cards, and now we ended up with mobile. And obviously that's what we will be focusing on, and that is what we will be explaining in, during this masterclass. Uh -huh. but we felt like it was useful to take you guys throughout the history of, of the wallet and the different forms of transacting. Yeah. Um, and then you know, fast forward to today where mobile is the predominant way and probably where you know, mobile transactions, mobile payments, and everything, mobile, everything is going to be in mobile and how we all do business and interact with one another. Exactly. So I would say to start, before even jumping into what is mobile wallet, I would say, what is a wallet in general? What would you say, Wendy? So wallet, so I guess, okay, start, we'll, start from, we'll start from the, you know, before mobile wallet. Wallets are typically, you know, you may have a nice leather wallet. Some of you guys exactly. may have a plastic one. Some of you guys may even have um, a Velcro wallet. I, I know I had this when I was a little bit younger, yeah. a, a really cool Velcro wallet. Um, but well, that's what we all know of as a wallet. Yeah. What is mobile wallet? It's, to put it very, very simply, it's everything that you currently have in your leather or Velcro wallet. Yeah. Loyalty cards, coupons, stored value cards, event tickets, and even maybe some cash on yeah, some coupons. And, and other, I don't know what else you guys might have in your wallets, but it's these kinds of content that then gets digitized and, and um, accessed into in your smartphone, essentially, in a mobile wallet app. And we'll talk a little bit later about what kinds of apps there are nowadays. Some are native, some are quasi-native. Um, but the trend is, you know, mobile wallet apps are becoming a part of our lives. They are already a part of our lives. So, yeah, the first thing that usually people think when we try to explain the concept of a mobile wallet is payment. So one thing that we really want to point out is that it's not just about payments. Yes, of course, there are technologies allowing this, but it's not just payments. And then we will go through some examples as well. Um, I would say you probably already had um, the chance to fly somewhere and you downloaded your boarding pass in your, in your wallet and that wasn't a payment method. There was actually a pass that you showed at, at the airport to go to your destination, right? And then the examples can be of a different variety, right? Yeah. So, I mean, mobile wallet content, there's the transactional side to it. But then, um, like Nicholas was saying, it's now so much more than just payments. This is a new channel. This is the probably the most direct channel that any business or brand can have with their customers today. And if you look at a mobile wallet content, it's not just, you know, transaction, transaction, transaction. It's, it's also about the engagement aspect of it, which a lot of brands or businesses aren't fully aware of. Um, but using this as a channel to further engage with your customers and really understand the behaviors and um, being, I guess, yeah, using it as a channel of further engagement is, is really what we're going to cover today, more so than the, the transaction side of things, because that's the, that's the easy part. Now we yeah. want to get into things that, you know, it's, it's newer, but also very much more important to your, to your business. Yeah. So here, a bit of landscape. A mobile wallet actually um, is a relatively new technology. I think the first um, who started implementing this was Apple with the passbook. But then, um, as you can see here on the slide, uh, we have different other platforms of wallets, and we have trends that say that this is going to grow even more in the future. So, for example, if you see 300 plus users of Apple Wallet, meaning that all these people are potential customer that you can reach one click away, basically. And maybe you are less familiar with WeChat and Alipay, but here we are in Hong Kong, so those are more um, popular in China. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there is an outstanding, the outstanding 650 million on WeChat. And as I said earlier, this is all potential for your, for your business. 
would you like to say anything exactly, else? Exactly, yeah. I mean, the key thing, I think, for this is these are apps. I mean, these are the sheer number of users that you can potentially reach, as Nicholas was saying. it's And these apps are typically, well, Apple Wallet is native to iOS yeah. devices. And the good thing about this is that you don't need to invest in app development at all. Yeah. You've got that channel already sitting inside your customer's phone through Apple Wallet. It's now about delivering content to them that they then store in Apple Wallet. WeChat Wallet, or WeChat itself, very, very popular in China. Over six, around 650 million active users currently. They've put in a wallet system in WeChat as well. So although WeChat isn't native to all smartphones, you can probably bet, I mean, 98, 99% yeah. of people in China, China. definitely yeah. have WeChat on there. Absolutely. So, and Android Pay is, you know, it recently came out you know, after the introduction of Apple Wallet, Apple Pay, then Android Pay is now, is now becoming the native um, wallet app for, for Android devices, though it's not available yet worldwide. Uh, in the US, it's available, yeah. Australia, I believe, as well. But, I mean, you can see where the trend is going. These are all wallet apps that, are relevant that are going to be, or if not already, you know, native to these smartphones and allowing you to reach pretty much all of your mobile audience without even investing in an app. Yeah, I just wanted to add one thing on this. Um, as PassKit, we recently released um, customer engagement and loyalty reports. And one of the things that are featured is that uh, Beacon influenced uh, transaction just in the US from 2015 and the forecast on 2016 say that it will increase by 10 times. So it means that one person in 2016 uh, will be 10 times more likely to buy something through a Beacon notification, which is something we will cover later on in the webinar. Uh -huh. But Beacons uh, very well interact with these uh, wallets and these applications. So uh, we can really, really see where the trend is going and where the opportunity is.